All right, guys, we got another new boat. Uh, we sold the PA-17T, and I got a Blue Sky. The reason I did that, my wife is pregnant, and she tried the Old Town 106, and she pretty much just stole it from me. So our new buddy boat is her old compass. She took this from me. I'll use the compass when I'm not using the Blue Sky, but I really wanted to try something with... Um, I, uh, the spot lock, eye pilot, autopilot, whatever. So instead of going with an old town, I'm a bigger fan of the 106 than I am the, than the autopilots. Um, so I bought this Blue Sky 360 Pro. Um, you guys can see 360 Pro. Uh, this is a new boat they came out with this year. This is the Black Glitter. It's a uh, dark gray black boat with glitter flake in it. Looks pretty cool. But this is just an open platform right here. You can put any trolling motor you want. I had this trolling motor on the PA-17T. So I kept that and sold the PA-17T. Bought this and an enclosed trailer. But yeah, so we got a Blue Sky Boatworks 360 Pro. And um, I went to the beach with it. I got it Friday, Saturday. We went to the beach. I spent a week on it at the beach, saltwater fishing. Really my first time inshore saltwater fishing. We just stayed in the canals and stuff down in the Outer Banks. And uh, caught a few redfish, flounder, stuff like that. But pretty tough week. A lot of learning. Um, but I had to rig this thing up really quick. So I had... The fish finder and everything, the transducer arm was hanging off of this rail on the side and just had wires running up to this ball right here. I'm going to leave the fish finder here, the screen for the fish finder here. But I want to find a new home for this transducer because I want to get rid of these. And just in case you're curious, this, this, and that rod holder right there came with the boat. And then you get two tubs. So you get two of these tubs. I ordered two more. Um, they came in while I was at the beach. So I only used those two over there. Because I had my parking pole, my, my super stick with the paddle on it, over here. So I wasn't really using these two hatches because it was laying in these little rod stagers here. Um, but I got two new ones there. So each... One of these hatches now has a bucket in there, so I can use it for storage. Um, it does have a landing gear, comes with it, and the Yak Power 8 switch system also comes with it. I wasn't using the actual uh, little remote um, that you can mount. I just used these buttons for that week. I wanted to keep it super simple, plus, like I said, it came in on Friday. Really, all I had time to do was... Rigged the power pole adapter. Um, just quickly put the fish finder on and the trolling motor battery. But it comes pre-wired. It, come, it came put together by Delaware Paddle Sports. Um, other than that, it did really well. Um, it's a little wide for certain sp uh, spaces. So I had to get out in the water and pull it over some down bridges and stuff like that that we were fishing. But other than that, it did really well. Um, probably my favorite boat to date would be a Pro Angler 12, but this thing might take that place. Um, but just because I could walk around this entire thing, it's super stable. It's not too heavy because you get two handles here in the front. So it weighs about the same as a PA 14 or a little more, but because you can use both hands to carry and it's like beside you. And then the boon, the, it's not, I don't know if it's boondocks or not, but the landing gear, I don't know if they have some kind of deal with boondocks to make these or not, but same concept as a boondocks landing gear, except for you get this bungee. So this bungee keeps them pulled in and you can actually, when it's laying flat, rotate it down and up like at, at an angle, like, like this, like that. And then you pull the bungee tight, and then when you pick it up, it just pulls in. The bungee will pull it in. So the fact that it came with 
that cart system I really like. I uh, made it a lot more maneuverable off the water. On the water with this thing, um, I got used to the remote pretty quickly. That was something that I was a little worried about with the autopilot. That's why I went with the 106 Minn Kota from Old Town. But I did get used to the autopilot remote the more I used it. I didn't really have to look at it. I could just grab it and I knew where the buttons were. And I keep that right here. I clip it to my hip while I'm fishing, but it stays in here just like that. See, I mean, you got your north setting that's left and right, up and down, stop, start, stop, and your uh, spot lock. That's basically the only things I used on here. And man, spot lock, spot lock is so crucial, especially in the wind. And the thing I liked about this over the autopilot from Old Town is the swivel seat and the fact that you can walk around it and fish off of any side or any, you know, you're not facing one direction. So this is going to put you, if you want to spot lock, it's going to put you into the wind. You're going to be facing the wind because it's going to be fighting against the wind. So it's going to always going to be facing the wind. So if you want to fish behind you, but the wind's at your face, you can't really do that in the autopilot. I mean, I guess you could turn around and stand up and and turn around and, and fish off the back. But with this, you just swivel that seat around, stand up and fish. I mean, it's so much easier and it's, it, I know it's not a kayak, but it's, it's kind of the best of both worlds of a boat and a kayak. It's also the worst of both worlds with, with a boat and a kayak because it's so heavy. Um, it's, it's not, you get the best of both and the worst of both, really. Um, it's a good in-between boat kayak. And as far as what I like to fish from, I think this has replaced the PA-12 as one of my favorites. Um, the, the 106, I went out on the Compass and the 106 this week as well at the Outer Banks. And I didn't realize how much I liked, how much more I liked the Old Town than the Compass. Until I went out on the compass and then got back on the old town. And I was like, man, this thing is so much more stable than a compass. And they're at the same price with the uh, kick-up fins. You get them at the same price. So at that $2,500 mark. And this is a shorter um, boat. It's a wider boat. It's a little bit heavier. But it's also motorized. And it's way more stable. So that is something else I found out at the beach this week is that I really like the old town over the compass. But for now, I'm going to use the compass unless they come out with a 12 foot version of this uh, old town 106 Minn Kota where there's no autopilot because I already have something like that with the blue sky. I don't need to spend the money on that. But I really like the layout of this boat with the hatch and just everything the way it is. So if they come out with a 12 footer of this, I might... We might end up selling the compass to get that, and that would be like my kayak, and then this would be kind of my main boat. But I'm um, really happy with the blue sky. Always thought they were weird, didn't know if it was for me, but I'm telling you, after I fished it for a week, I fell in love, and it's, it's just so nice to be stable and to rotate the seat. You're not like turning at weird angles and trying to fish. You just literally rotate and fish. It's so much easier. One little mod I did do to bring all my tools is just I removed the A-trail clip on this A-trail tackle bin and just used a uh, track nut and a knob. Um, that is one thing I'm going to do. I think because I have these A-trails from my red outback that i took off before i sold i think i'm gonna remove these tracks right here and mount the a trail right here on the side and it's going to run from about middle to each hatch but in place of this and then i may move these somewhere else but i think that's what i'm going to do today if i do that'll be another video got the 60 amp hour amped outdoors for the Old Town 106 Minn Kota. So that's going to be my wife's battery. Make it a little bit lighter on her. Um, after using the 100 with it, it is totally overkill. And for 
This, I mean, she, I think, used like 10% of the battery in three hours, and she was gunning it pretty much the whole time because she was having a blast. So this is going to be fine for her. Um, she's not on the water more than like three or four hours anyway. So this will make it a lot lighter, and it'll be plenty of power. The 100 amp hour is right here, and that is what I decided to put on this because it is a 55 um, pound thrust. And it does have all the autopilot and the spot lock feature that I'm going to use. And it's a lot bigger boat. So I think the 100 amp hour will do good. Um, I fished on it like two days. And it still had battery life left. I don't know how much, but it had quite a bit of battery life left. So it's a pretty efficient battery. Um, if you don't have a lithium battery, I would definitely check it out. Yes, they are expensive, but they are totally worth it. They are so much better performing, they last longer, both in lifespan and in battery life, and they're just so much lighter. So check out Amped Outdoors. I've got two of them now, 60 amp hour and the 100 amp hour um, for that boat and this boat. But other than that, I'm gonna hop off here. I just wanted to show you guys a new boat um, and look for some mods coming soon. Because right now it's pretty stock. I'm going to get the uh, Yak Power switch right here mounted somewhere. And once I get it all rigged up, I might do a rigging video and show you guys how I rigged the Blue Sky. But anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one.